Good morning, y'all. Good morning, and welcome back to Alicia's Crafty Hoplop. It is hump day, y'all. Happy hump day. Well, I'm on with an exciting mini project share. I have several things on my crafty aspiration list that I have tried several times this year. Some of them were this year, and some have been longer than a year, and I've just never been able to do them. But the funniest thing has happened, y'all. Uh, when I'm having like a more difficult day and I have to move very slowly, I just retried some of these things, some of which I've been trying and trying and trying to make. And the funniest things have happened. Um, one of them is I've been able to do it. So I'm going to start with the less impossible and take you to the most impossible. I call these projects of hope, y'all. If I can do these, oh my goodness, it means we can make anything. Okay, so the first one I'm going to share with you is this, because you all know I have beading issues just because of my hand issues. But look at this, y'all. It's a chunky heart tassel dangle. Look at that. Yeah, I know. I was super excited. And you know, that's like one of my favorite new trims from Hobby Lobby. It, oops, sorry about that. Give me a second. It looks like this, y'all. Super fun trim. And I know it's hard to tell the color, but this is like a really deep Tiffany blue and it has like all this different sparkle sparkle. All right, so that's what's on here. That's what I tassel wrapped it with a little rhinestone bow. These are the heartbeats from Hobby Lobby. Obviously I made the tassels myself out of different kinds of teal. And then this is a lavender metallic one. And that is a giant chunky heart tassel. I know. All right, so that was very cool but not half as exciting as the next project, which was entirely inspired by Lana Chin, otherwise known as Norcali Girl. Now, do y'all remember, do I have it here? I usually keep it nearby when I'm making these as a reference point, but I, oh, there it is. All right, y'all. Do you remember when Lana sent me these darling rainbows and I tried making them for Soleil and I tried and it just didn't turn out? Well, y'all, you ready? Are you ready, Lana? This is my version. Now these little weird pom pom -y things are, I saw that Lana did something really smart. She uses twist ties to attach these in the back and I didn't have twist ties. Teaches me now to save all my twist ties. Oh, my husband's gonna lose it saving more stuff. But I did cut up pipe cleaners and I did the same thing using my pipe cleaner. All right, y'all, look at that. Now, mine are a little different, clearly, uh, especially for this person. There again are Lana Chins. Look at them. They're so beautiful, y'all. And see, because she used the little rope in, she has these little tassels. Um, this particular person that these are going to likes a tiny bit of bling. So there are these little bows at the end of this one. And on this one, it's more simple. Um, but I can make them now, y'all. And I'm going to tell you a little secret. These were both made differently. I've learned two different ways to make these. Um, my favorite way is to use the Dollar Tree wire. But y'all, my Dollar Trees don't carry this anymore. This is the last of it that I have. So this one was made with the Dollar Tree wire. But then I did a little test, y'all. And this one, if you can see, was made with an iridescent silver pipe cleaner. Uh-huh. You can use both. It both works. This is my favorite because you see this gets a little chunkier and I like it nice and narrow like Lana's, but it works y'all. Look at that. So another thing off my, I said I couldn't do it, but I can list, but y'all know what my biggest challenge has been for almost two years. I have tried how many times to make Carmen and Jelly Bean a stick pin. And I just, I don't know what it's with me and my stick pin, but not only did they like, is it so hard for me to get it all on, but they just don't come out right normally. Well, you know, Wandy Sweet sent me this card, right? All right. Now, you'll forgive me because I'm going to show you. Okay, so that's her card, her gorgeous card. And I pulled out her stick pin and I took a look at it, y'all. And I was like, okay, well, I don't have ones that big, but I, I can make some smaller ones for cards. And I took a look at what she did. And then I watched Dina's, this Mama Loves Disney. She did these like little halloween -y ones. And I was like, why are you making such a big deal out of this? Well, anyway, I was having a difficult pain evening and I couldn't move fast. 
And guess what I learned? When I don't move fast, oh, I can make a stick pin. Yeah, y'all. I made about 20. It's unbelievable. Now, okay, that's a little too big. I learned my lesson after making a few. Let me show you. Whoops. There's another one. There's another one. I've made like 20, y'all. It's unbelievable. Look how cute. I've made like 20 now. And these are the ones, these are not like the ones that you, you know, you would use these in card making primarily, but look how pretty they are. I couldn't believe it. So I call these projects of hope because if I can make these with all my hand issues and I was finally able to do it, that means y'all, we can do anything. It's just a matter of the right time and the right mindset. So ironically, when I was having kind of a rough pain time and I just needed something very slow and methodical to help me work it through, I could make them. So isn't that ever a lesson? And with this, I think it was just a matter of finding my groove and my patience. I think that's all this was. Um, and I will say, I think chunky charms are always gonna be a bit of a challenge, but that's okay. Uh, the other secret was when I started working on all three of these things, they, they weren't for a swap. Every other time that I started making stuff like this, or I started making um, these, it was, I had like a specific person in mind and a specific project in mind. And I think that just put too much pressure on me for something that I find hard to do. I just started making these as opposed to thinking like, oh, they have to be for this swab or, oh, they have to be for this. And y'all, before I knew it, I had all three of them done. So I'm hoping this is inspiring for you. Two years in the making to be able to do this two years but I can make them now so how inspiring is that y'all and you know what else is exciting so notice I use the loop because the people I am going to send these to they can either use them as a stick pin in their cards or I deliberately use the loop so that they can bend the end and turn these into dangles for chunky charms mm -hmm. so that means I can also make a chunky charm if I'm super patient Oh, it's a game changer, y'all. It's a game changer. I hope you find that super inspiring. Um, I always find it inspiring when someone tells me that they struggled for two years to do something and they finally did it. So a big thank you to Lana Chin for all the inspiration, our Cali girl. A big thank you to Dina, this mama loves Disney for her great Halloween video. Uh, also a big thank you to Susan Tootsie Tucker. She always encourages me to try, even though I often fail when I try these. But you know what, y'all? This time I didn't. So I hope that gives you a lot of hope. Um, I'm wishing for you a happy and a creative day. I will have a video up later on today with some mail because it's pre-recorded. Uh, so I will see you later today. I'm wishing for you a happy and hope-filled hump day. Bye for now.